Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're making one of my favorite dishes. So y'all stay tuned. All right, well, my favorite dish from uh, days gone by, and it's been a family uh, favorite also, is my chicken and rice. Never really given this recipe away before, but it's not that difficult. Uh, it's gonna be pretty basic, so if you're looking for one of those uh, good, hearty dishes to do, uh, cheap and easy, then you gotta watch this one. Of course, today we're gonna be using the Dutch oven for this uh, dish, and this works uh, good with the Dutch oven uh, inside or outside. Today we're going to do it outside, uh, keep them heating the house up. Um, but you know, if you have one of those good old enamelware ones, or even these guys with the legs on them, or if you have the one without the legs on it, I would recommend that for this dish. Well, I need to go to the store. I need to get some onions. Uh, a lot of you might, you know, head to the grocery store. Well, we're going to head in here to to our store of onions. You see, we have them uh, braided there. I'll put a link in the description box back to onion braiding and storing. But we need a couple of good size ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pull a couple off of there. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, another medium size one right here. All right, store trip complete. Okay, simple recipe. Right here we have our number 10 Dutch oven. Uh, uh, if you're gonna use your number 12, double these uh, ingredients. If you got this, is gonna be just for two people. So if you got more than that, uh, let's double that for for four people and use the uh, number 12. Um, first thing we, we got in there, we have two chicken thighs uh, in there already. And we're gonna season those with some uh, dried rosemary. Right on top there, just, oh, you know, uh, you don't wanna get crazy with salt on this right now. Uh, we're gonna be using a, a broth product. So just a little bit of salt. I'll say that's about half a teaspoon. A generous amount of black pepper, uh, about a tablespoon. Okay. One bay leaf, looks good to me. Uh, one large onion, just seen us get that from the store. Just dump it. Here we have uh, our beef, or uh, sorry, uh, chicken base. This is the uh, new Better Than Bouillon uh, product, uh, and it is really better than bouillon. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, they're not paying me to say that, but a uh, good heaping tablespoon of that better than bouillon in there. And it's really concentrated flavor. And three cups of water. No need to stir or do anything other than get this on the fire. One little tip for you guys. Um, today's uh, cook is going to be one of those things where we're going to we're going to cook a long time at a low temperature and anytime you want to do that I I found that this uh, Stubbs charcoal right here burns about twice as long as Kingsford especially when, uh, out in the Dutch oven out there where you're just in an open environment um, it does uh, it does great on the smoker uh, it'll keep you uh, much steadier for a longer longer period of time uh, say when you're doing pork butts brisket something that's going to take quite a while to cook it's also uh, it's not so bad about you know peaks and valleys if you have to add coals it comes up easy it goes back down easy whereas King's first designed to, to basically grill with um, now if you're grilling something and you need that sear and heat King's for way better okay it comes up high heat really fast uh, stays there for a little while and then peters out these long cooks try stubs uh, and they're not paying me to say that yet
they're set up there for 350. And uh, how long we gonna do that? Uh, till the coals are burnt out. So go do your yard work, do whatever else you need to do. Go have fun uh, if you're camping. You know, go catch a fish while you're waiting on this. Uh, no need to tend with it. We might check it 30 minutes or so just to check the water level. As long as you got water, you're good. All right, folks, we're back. Been about an hour and a half. You see these coals are burnt down. And, you know, it's good old stubs. It's still got a coals. There's still some coals there. An hour and a half later. And uh, still feels pretty hot. So the other side, still a little bit of a bubble going on there. We're gonna check the tenderness on these. I'm sure it's gonna be good. See all that chicken is just falling apart tender. We're gonna go ahead and take that off and uh, let it cool a minute and then we'll deep bone it. We're just gonna grab our tongs here. Just gonna take the chicken out. We're not gonna take any of the broth or any of that. We're gonna leave that going actually. Just take the chicken off. We're gonna set it aside over here. Let it cool so we can get the bones out. But in the meantime, um, we can keep this broth going. That broth, that's the magic. So we'll just put this right back on there. Give this a few minutes, and we'll keep on it. Okay, time for final assembly of our dish here. Um, the onions still look great in there. So we're not going to put any more onions in it. Um, but we're going to finish the Trinity. Half cup diced carrots. Half cup diced celery. Those are uh, both out of our garden here. Um, the rest of the chicken we deboned that. It's very easy to debone those thighs. So I'm going to put the chicken back in there. And then here we have uh, a cup of rice. But I'm probably not going to put all of that in there. Uh, you kind of got to gauge the amount of broth you have. Well, let's go ahead and put the rest of it in there and we'll make it up with some water. I did uh, test this broth uh, for saltiness and it seemed about perfect so I'm not going to add any salt. Uh, we're getting salt from the original seasoning plus the uh, broth. We'll just get this guy back on the fire, 350, just like before and put our timer on for 20 minutes. All right, we've reloaded. We go in. There's our mix. We're gonna keep an eye on. See when it uh, starts boiling. As soon as it starts to, to simmer, that's when we're gonna set our timer. 20 minutes. Okay, our timer just uh, peeped, so we're gonna go take a look. To be about right. And it is. You see, it's absorbed almost all the broth. Okay, let's take it off. Bring it over here to the table. Off that heat, give it a little stir. You can see that the rice is perfectly done, absorbed almost all the broth. Just want to give it a good stir. And uh, we're going to let it sit there for a while, dump the uh, coals off the lid, put it back on, and be time to eat. Okay, time for the plate up. Uh, the plate up's gone. This is going to be very simple. I'm just going to put a uh, nice generous scoop of our chicken and rice right in the center plate. We can do that without making a mess, hopefully. Meat in the middle. Uh, we got some fresh basil. Uh, just picked right out the garden right there. It's going to freshen it up. And then uh, I like to uh, garnish with a couple of spikes bacon right in the middle. Put those guys up there. Beautiful meal. Hope you guys try this. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet today. Uh, trying to share this good old family uh, favorite with you guys. Uh, give it a try. It might become a family favorite at your house too.
As long as you guys keep watching and subscribing, we'll keep making these videos. So if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button down there, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you next time.